This is future Jody. Um, basically, I filmed this video a while ago, and then I ended up in hospital with sepsis, and I was in a ward with loads of other people. I'm so floppy today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I ended up in a ward with loads of other people, so I couldn't really edit it because I need to do a voiceover. So this is basically just a video showing how I transfer. Um, it's not the best transfer I've ever done, but I thought it was important to show how I do it. And then maybe in a couple of months' time, when I'm better, like better at doing it, I can show you again, just to show my progress. So yeah. So I'm just starting by moving my legs across and this is probably the hardest part of transferring. And one of the things that took me like the longest to learn how to do just because it's just as much strength as it is technique. Like I had to work hard to build up a lot of the strength that I've got back in my arms. But then it's about learning where to throw your weight as well. So if you see as I hook under my leg, I kind of throw my weight over. And that helps build up the momentum to move my leg. And so it's just learning like little tricks like that that make it easier. But like a lot of people um, find it hard to move the legs when they're flopped down. But I find it a lot easier because I'm... So bendy, as you can see, I literally just fold in half. So, um, I find it a lot easier to move my legs like that because I'm, I'm more stable, but it's just kind of personal preference. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is as hard as it looks, but it's so worth it because it takes so much effort, but it's the perseverance that will give me the independence in the future. So you've just got to keep trying. And it's just about trying different things, like making sure my chair's in the right position so I've got something to push off. And I was in two minds whether to speed this up or not, but I wanted to show you the actual time it can take me some days. And this was quite a slow transfer. I tend to do it a lot quicker, but so it's important to post it so I can show my progression in the future. Another thing that really does make a difference as well is the type of clothes I've got on, like some leggings stick to fabrics more than others so these leggings weren't particularly slidey whereas say ones from Gymshark slide really well so here my care is just putting down the back of my, the bed for me to help me get over like the bit of the lip and then I try and get myself as far forward as possible so I throw my head forward and it gives me the momentum to slide forward and then my other care is helping me put my shoes on because the grip on the bottom of my shoes is important for stopping my feet sliding when I transfer because that's what's going to stop me falling basically so I try and get myself a bit further forward here and then once I'm far enough to the edge of the bed, eventually they'll put the board in and that's when I start actually sliding across into my chair. So to make it easy to get the board in, I lean myself over to one side so it kind of lifts up one side of my bum so the board's easier to get in place so it shifts the weight off there and then once the board's in I'll either get myself up or sometimes I do need help getting myself up it just kind of depends on the day and how far I've actually flopped and another good point is 
get your hair out your face. I am so bad at transferring with my hair down and I can't see properly. I used to get told off for that when I was at rehab all the time. But here you can see I'm trying to slide, but I'm not really going anywhere. I've got someone in front of me just in case I fall. So you'll see in a second, I put the bed up and sometimes just creating that bit of an angle, like a bit of downwards hill, if that makes sense, helps you slide so much better. And just making sure your hands are in the right position, that's really important as well. So as you can see, there's someone on my knees, just to make sure that I don't slide forward while I'm still getting more used to transferring. Because even though I have been able to transfer for a while, I'm still pretty new at it. So it's just about learning what works for you. And here I flop forward because my arms get tired. So it's just about having someone there is a safety thing more than anything. So when I actually transfer, I put all my weight through the hand that's on the bed and then swing my head towards the window and push through that hand because that's what creates the movement in my hips to help me slide across because although I do have some tricep movement they're not strong nowhere near strong enough to move me so this is just me sitting back and then I do this thing where I twist and it helps my bum slide across and then I sit myself up I use my back rest a lot to help pull me up and then get them to pull my leggings up, cover up that quad belly and then they're just making sure I'm sat in the right place and that's it, I'm up in my chair also like these leggings are seamless so pulling them up at the back doesn't compromise your skin but be careful about pulling things up at the back if they've got seams because they can dig in Thanks for watching um, if you've got any other video requests just let me know um because i don't really know what what to film like just people want like more spinal stuff or just like normal videos um like i said i was in hospital so i've not really filmed much i've never filmed anything well i've not filmed anything um but it's half term week so around doing work I'm gonna get some videos filmed, I think. Um, I might even do a bit of a vlog. I don't know. Just let me know what you wanna see. Thanks for watching. Bye.